Not everyone agrees where the federal tax cuts are actually working. Reporter Walter Smith Randolph spoke with Michiganders on both sides of the issue. It's been four months since President Trump signed the new tax reform into law. This group is touring the nation trying to show how the tax cuts are helping small business owners. But some here in Michigan say that the tax cuts will hurt in the long run, and even the state legislature had to step in to prevent unintended consequences. Our mission here is to go around the country and to thank everyone who supported the historic tax cut reform legislation that is now the law of the land. Small business owner Zach Booker is one of those who supported tax reform. He says the new tax law is helping him reinvest in Michigan. We're increasing wages uh, for our existing employees. We're hiring more employees and trying to pay the top 10% in our industry. Success stories like Booker's are the point of this tour. But Michigan's governor has previously said the federal tax cuts had unintended consequences. The state legislature passing an income tax exemption to prevent Michiganders from paying more in state income tax. State Representative Dan Lowers of St. Clair County voted in favor of that measure. Because of the, the, the cut in the federal tax, um, you as an individual would have more money. That would in turn become more taxable money for the state of Michigan. Change that so that your tax liability did not go up because of the fact that your federal tax liability went down. So in the end, what, what we're going to see is all families having more money left over at the end of the year. Rachel Richards with the Michigan League for Public Policy says while families may see more money now, the tax cuts will hurt in the long run. So with these tax cuts um, under the current law, uh, tax cuts for most um, individuals will expire and you could actually see a tax increase um, in the next five to ten years um, while wealthy Michiganders will still benefit from pretty large tax cuts. Still, Booker says keeping more of your own money will help everyone. Are going to see a $1,200 savings is what they're saying. So, I mean, yeah, $1,200 uh, is what, going to be two mortgage payments or, or one mortgage payment depending on how you live. And the optimism is showing through the community, which is really cool. As we went out and asked small business owners why we reached out to Governor Snyder's office about the bus tour and the tax cuts. His spokesman sent us the following statement saying, Governor Snyder appreciates the work done at the federal level to address tax rates and working with our legislative partners in Lansing. We addressed an unintended consequence by turning it into further